Doc, I never told you this. I have a confession. Uh-oh. Before I found out who you were, I didn't know who you were. Let me explain. You know I'm a football guy, right? So before you became my guy, Ed Too Tall Jones was my guy. Okay. So then I watched okay. this movie. Yeah. And you, you know the movie, right? The Fish. The Fish That Saved <laughs> Pittsburgh. And then you became my guy. Yeah. I always that wasn't, real, that, wasn't uh, that wasn't artificial. That was real acting. It was? Yeah. Yeah, I, I was being me. <laughs> like, because, yeah. cause like, have you ever seen that movie, Fish Saved Pittsburgh? Yeah, you need to check it out. So yeah. it's a basketball movie. It's classic. So That's when I saw young. that... And you know what he was doing? I became a fan, and then my father sent me to, to, to uh, took me to the a garden to watch him play, and I was like, "That's real." Yeah. Like he went baseline, <laughs> and when he dunked it, and the crowd stood up, because I was a, a high level juvenile delinquent, I was always getting in trouble. <laughs> so I seen him go baseline, throw it down, the crowd went crazy. It's like when the crowd stood up, like the basketball guys just enter me, because I always had to address my father as sir, because he was like, you know, don't talk to me until you get your life together. So I was like, sir, I finally figured out what I want to do in my life, and he was like, what? He was like, I want to be like this man here. He was like, you want to be like the Dr. J? And my father said this to me. He said, I'll make you the best big man ever. And then he started throwing names I never heard of. He said, I'm going to make you like Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. I'm going to make you like Will Chamberlain. I'm going to make you like Bill Russell. But I wouldn't even worry about those names. I was worried about this name right here. So, Doc, I always, I always wanted to ask you this question. Yeah. You know, this era we live in, they talk about the GOATs. Yeah. And they talk about Michael. LeBron, they talk about Kobe. Do you get upset that your name is not mentioned? Because for all the people that's watching, you invented all this. You, you see this off. big house? That's you. You see all these goddamn cars I'm driving? That's you. You see all the fancy suits I'm wearing? That's because of you. So I get upset when they don't mention your name. Do you get upset when people don't don't even say your name, this, this younger generation? Well, what happens is uh, my nephew, who you know, Barry, he uh, he sometimes give me a call and he said they did it again. Did what? They left you out, <laughs> and I'm just like, get used to it. You know, we just uh, happened to be to, we preceded the era in basketball of the really really big money, mm-hmm. really really big hype, the things associated with the international game, and I you know I was like one of the first to go over to China, go over to England. And you were the first. Over there and play. And everywhere I went, they, they said, the Globetrotters were here. Can you spin the finger on your ball? Can you spin the ball on your finger? And I'm like, no, I ain't too good at that, but I could do this. Right, and then right. I showed them, you know, the stuff that I could do. So uh, I think that in time, you know, justice will be done, but I can't lose no sleep over right. something that, I didn't have or that I don't have. You know, I've been blessed in so many ways. You know, my family, my friends, uh, my associates, the opportunities that I have. I've been blessed in so many ways, man. I ain't got that time for no nonsense. Yeah, but that upsets me because it upsets me because you paved the way. Hello, everyone. I spend a lot of time trying to get you guys nice videos. So please subscribe to this page and please subscribe to my second page. The link to my second page is in the description section. Thank you.